What's going on guys? So uh, all the snow hit. It's officially winter here. We got about 10 inches of snow. Uh, about 5 to 6 inches last night, which I got off the driveway and thought it was kind of done. It was going light, but then woke up to another, I don't know, 4 or 5 inches, something like that. <sighs> Just part of the deal, you know? Anyway, uh, you guys like my new hat? Someone sent me this hat. Even though it's not the appropriate winter hat, they said it looked like Gus, and it does. It really does look like Gus, trucker style. So the back of my bald head is nice and cold. Which, uh, by the way, I haven't shaved. No shave November. I know it looks horrible. But uh, I'm not going to shave my face until I drop below 300 pounds. So every time I look in the mirror, I go, Because I don't grow like a lush, thick beard or anything. It's kind of gnarly looking. I never really grew it out completely to see. Who knows? Hopefully I could shave before it gets too bad. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. This video is about making butter. We're going to make butter. Why? Why not? And this is something that uh, I don't even remember what I learned. I was going to tell you when I learned it or who I learned it from, but honestly, I don't remember. It's super, super simple. It's something that I think a lot of kids learn in school. Maybe that's where I learned it in school. But it's a really fun project if you have kids or grandkids, nephews, nieces, whatever. Um, it's a really fun project for them. Could not be easier. All you need is a container with a lid and heavy whipping cream. That's it. I actually going to be making a couple things here. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill this like, I don't know, about halfway with this heavy whipping cream. And then we're going to shake it. All right. Maybe a little less than half. Ah, that looks about half. All right. So by shaking this, first we're going to make whipped cream. Put the top on hard and just shake it. That's it. So as we're shaking it, like I said, we're going to end up making whipped cream, but if you keep shaking it past whipped cream, it's going to separate and you're going to have butter and all the liquid is going to be buttermilk. Fascinating, right? Couldn't be easier, literally, just in a, in a container shaking it. Now, if you're doing this with kids, I would highly recommend a plastic container because when they're shaking this, it might go flying out of their hands. You don't want broken glass and cream everywhere. Getting there. So now we have full-on whipped cream. <laughs> Person. Someone's driving down the road with their window down, kind of looking around. They, they did a double take, like, what's that guy doing? <sighs> Making butter. Duh. All right. You can hear how it's like a lump, actually. Bouncing around in there. Really, really close. See how there's a bunch of liquid now? We're pretty much there. A couple more shakes. All right. We did it. And by we, I mean me. Alone in front of a camera. Okay, so now we have butter, and as I tilt it, you can see that all that liquid is the buttermilk. So I realized I didn't bring anything out here to show you this, so hang on a second, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to strain, strain the buttermilk off of it. And Well, you, I mean, you can see it through the jar. That, that's butter, but it's unsalted butter. Like I said, maybe a pinch of salt. I don't know the exact measurements here. Clearly, <laughs> pinch of salt for about this much butter if you want to salt the butter to regular, you know, cook with whatever you're usually using butter for. But there you go. We've actually made butter and buttermilk. So we're going to strain off the buttermilk. I'm not going to use that. I'm just going to get rid of it. I'll compress the butter into a nice little bowl or something, and I'll get back and show you that. All right, I'm back. So I strained all the buttermilk off of it, put it in this container, all right? Now make sure when you first put it in there, you could see it was like a lot of smaller pieces of butter. When you compact it, you're gonna squeeze out more of that liquid, all right? So you wanna just keep compressing it until it's just solid, you know, butter, which we have here. So homemade butter, just by shaking a jar. 
Now, I know I made that look incredibly difficult, but like I said, when you're doing it in a family environment, there's people around, everyone takes a turn, it's not really that big of a deal. Seemed like quite a struggle, <laughs> me doing it by myself here. Uh, but it is fun, like I said, a fun project for kids. You can look up the science behind it, this way you can, you know, teach your child something while you're doing this. Uh, but, you know, simply put, if you're out of butter and you happen to have heavy cream, you can make your own. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Take it easy, guys.